Seaport. Number 31, Brian. Yard line. <laughs> Number thirty one, Brian Ray with the first down. Kotek now with the first and ten, ball resting at their own forty nine yard line.
number 16, Nick Sakori. Sartori ran 29 yard line. Bring up the second and seven now for Indiana. Ball resting at the road, 32 yard line. Number 19. Now with a 
second and left. The Indiana 45 yards on. Number 31. No way! Oops, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, folks, punt. Indiana now, second and ten. Indiana, number 18, Matt Morrison. Thirty-four yard line. Get him, Reaper! Number.
standing at the Votech 27 yard line. Number 15. Number 31, Brian Rose. 
contact. Number 27. Check that. Number 21. Indiana takes over first and 10, ball wrestling at their own 44 yard line. Number 19. Well, Coach, it's going to be a closer game than everyone thought. You're still learning from and, the old man. Yes, and being the so-called expert I am, I said, yeah, sure, Dad, it's going to be close. Well, i got news for you folks. The Votech football team has taken a lot of knocks this year. More knocks than your typical unbeaten team usually has to take. And despite taking a 12-0 record into tonight's District 6 Quad A final against Indiana, very few people expected the Spartans to give Indiana much of a game. However, 
Coach Ernie Fetcher's club pulled off perhaps the biggest surprise of the season, knocking off Little Indian 7-6 at Cambria Heights. Greg Confer has the highlights. The cold night air was definitely a factor in this modern-day story of David and Goliath, but so was the stingy Votech defense, which put a chill on the Little Indians, and the result was a scoreless tie at the break. In the third quarter, Indiana opened up with a long drive and a little luck. Matt Morrison keeps the ball and coughs it up at the one-yard line. However, Mark Middlehauser scoops it up and scores, but the point after was no good, a costly mistake for the Little Indians who led six to nothing. On the other side, Brian Rosich proved just as damaging to Indiana's title hopes. Rosich, who rushed for 218 yards, breaks loose on a 72-yard run and is finally caught from behind at the five. But this time, the Indiana defense was up to the task, stopping Vince Tomac on fourth and inches. However, Rosich and the Spartans remain unfazed, and when the senior running back punched it in from seven yards out, Coach Ernie Fetzer and the Votech faithful let out a roar as the point after gave the Spartans a 7-6 lead. Then, with the upset firmly in hand, again, Rosich with the interception as time runs out, and Johnstown Votech had won a hard-fought 7-6 victory and the Quad A title. <laughs> It was great. I tell you, we told, we told the kids all week that, uh, that we felt we could match up with them. And I know a lot of people didn't believe that, but we convinced them and our kids believed in themselves and uh, it showed it tonight. And of course, not to be overlooked in the title celebration is Votech's perfect season-ending record of 13-0. Greg Confer, Sports Center 6. Bill Indians are getting their offense in gear. Kevin Craig will pick up 12 yards a little later on a fourth and two play. And then it's Craig getting the first down right up the gut, keeping the drive alive for Indiana. Now, it's better to be lucky than good. I've heard that hundreds of times. Well, you can ask Matt Morrison, Middlehauser, and the entire Indiana team. Morrison rolls, is hit, fumbles. But Middlehauser is there to recover it for the touchdown. 6 nothing Indiana in the third quarter. But Bill Leonardo's extra point is no good. It would turn out to be the crucial miss of the entire season maybe for Indiana and the entire season for Johnstown Votech. Spartans wouldn't score on, uh, rather, uh, couldn't score on their possession, so they had to punt it away. Still trailing 6 nothing. Nicky Sartori almost breaks it on the punt. Gets down to the left sideline. And is finally brought down deep in Johnstown Votech territory. But a couple of plays later, Kevin Craig trying to ice the game. Gives Votech new life. Tom McGregor knocks the ball away and Vince Tomac recovers and Brian Rosich, playing all over the field tonight, takes the new life, 65 yards. Looked like he was going to go all the way. Todd Janaschak is there to bring him down by the shoelaces, saving the touchdown. Third quarter ended shortly after that. It's still nothing, 6-0 six, six nothing Indiana at that point. Then on fourth and goal from the inch line after they changed sides of the field. Spartans trying to get a little fancy here, maybe too fancy. Tomac is stopped cold. Spartans, though, would hold on defense, get the ball back. Dan Delick to Matt Pavlosky on third and long. And that's good for first down yardage. Couple of plays later, Rosich takes it in from about five yards out. And we've got a tie ball game at 6-6. The extra point upcoming. The crucial extra point from coach. Al Wolfo. Al Wolfo. There's the season for Johnstown Votech, District 6 champions. That made it 7-6. to six. Indians, though, had a last-ditch effort. It fails as Rosich comes up with the interception on the Hail Mary pass. And you can give the District 6 Quad A Championship trophy to Johnstown Votech and head coach Ernie Widmer, 7-6 to six over Indiana. And, Coach, I was maybe a little worried you weren't even going to make it into the show. A lot of celebration going on, i got to believe. Well, I think that... Um there were very few people that thought we really could be in the field with Indiana except our own football team. And, you know, uh, it was the hardest thing all week to try to convince our players that, that we were ready to play Indiana. And, uh, you know, they believed it. When we went out there tonight, we felt that we could, uh, we could be in the game. We felt defensively, if we went out and battled them defensively, that uh, we had a very good chance because uh, we, we feel we have a game breaker in Brian. And, uh, and we played great defense, and uh, what we said we had to do, we did tonight. There's a sports writer here in Altoona. I'll save him the embarrassment that said he'd take uh, your team with 23 and a half points. I read that to the did players you? tonight. Did yes. you? Yes, yes, I already, we were aware, aware, aware of that, and, uh, and uh, <laughs> that was part of our pregame talk. And, uh -huh. uh, 
I, I just think, you know, that the fact that, you know, people just didn't really realize, I guess, how good a football team we were. And, and uh, we have a great football team, and, and our conference is very good. And, and I think sometimes people make it too big a deal out of quad A and double A, triple A, and so on. And uh, if you've got a good football team, no matter what level you're at, I think that uh, people should respect that. After the scoreless first half, is that when you really, the players and you really realized that you could win this ball game? Well, I, I think at, uh, at halftime we went in and we, we said that I think at, this, at that point statistically we were winning. We were moving the football and uh, like we said at the beginning of the game, if we could move the ball to the outside uh, and play good defense, we felt we had the chance. And at that point, we were doing that. And of course, we hadn't scored. And, and we told the kids, you know, uh, we believe you can do it. You, and I think you believe you can do it. And that's all we had to do. Uh, that one play where you had the fourth and goal from the one or two inch line, you did, weren't able to score. Was that something that worried you at that point? Like maybe you, you had blown it at that point and you wish you had that play back? I think you always feel that way as a coach. But, uh, uh, you know, we had uh, six yards to go, we had four cracks on it, and I, I have to hand it to Indiana's defense. They, they played a tremendous game down there on that goal line, and uh, uh, we felt at that point that, uh, that Vince Tomac, who's been a, a tremendous football player for us, and that he was a tough man, a tough young man, and uh, that he could get that half yard, and uh, their defense just penetrated, and uh, we just couldn't do it. Um, if I had to call the play over again, I would call the same play again. Huh? Yes. Uh, are you, does this make you look forward to... Uh coaching some more you wish the season didn't end tonight i'm tired are you <laughs> yeah i'm tired but uh it's been an enjoyable one i think it's time to take a rest <laughs> and what will you do with the off season exactly we'll when will you year. when will you start thinking about football again well my wife probably won't let me for at least a week <laughs> but uh, we'll probably start at that point all right coach congratulations tell much. the players we uh send them congratulations as well <laughs> all right coach ernie widmer of johnstown votex seven to six upset winners over Indiana for the District 6 Quad A Championship. We've got more highlights from the AAA coming up in just a few moments, so stay with us.